Hey everyone, Muckluck Yabadabadoo here, and I assume you've beaten the first two bosses of Wing 2, otherwise why are you here? This is a guide to Matthias, Raid Wing 2's final boss. Now let's get to the point. Upon starting the fight, everything will get chilly and ice patches will spawn around the room periodically. Any source of burning will destroy them. A ranger's sun spirit gives everyone burning on the hit, making this easily handled. Everyone will be sometimes chilled. Cleanse it. The boss will occasionally trap someone in a crystal and do a countdown to their death. You can save them by simply CCing the crystal. Note, it is absolutely possible to kill your captive teammate, so unless they owe you large sums of money, you probably should be careful of that. If you don't know what CC is, heaven help me, click this link in the description for a guide on that. The boss will periodically charge up a Hadouken! that fires massive damage in a straight line. You can see it coming and sidestep it or just get blasted in the face and then beg for a revive. Periodically, players will get a debuff that needs to be run to the fountains around the room. I recommend marking them so you can yell at the idiots things like, Brad, run to the star, now, etc. When you use the fountain to cleanse yourself, it will fill with Pepsi and be untouchable and gross until it is clean again, forcing the next person to use a different fountain. To be clear, this is the debuff that does not have a special action key. More on that later. The boss will periodically cast a barrier around himself. You need to reflect his own attacks back at him to make him break his own barrier. Firebrand's Valiant Bulwark and Mesmer's Feedback are popular choices for this task. He will sometimes parkour and fire out projectiles in all directions. The damage is minimal, but you can counter this with projectile blocking abilities if you want. At 80%, he decides cold isn't working and turns up the thermostat, enraging all nearby dads. Standing still for too long will make you burn. If I have to actually say this, fire tornadoes are bad. If you get a debuff and have to run out, but you also have a special action key with a green marker above your head, do not run to the fountains. Instead, run to an open section of wall and use the special action key to drop the debuff on the ground, similar to the sloth mechanic. At 60%, he opens the sunroof and everyone gets wet. Mm. Apparently Tyrians move in rain the way southerners drive in snow because moving gives you a stacking debuff and at 10 stacks you fall down. Hold still if possible, stability is OP here. If many people get red circles, just split up. At 40% the boss starts doping, giving him the strength of 10 Norns but the intelligence of 1 Norns, so this should be easy. He will now do any abilities you've seen up until this point whenever he chooses. Be ready for any of them. Them. Periodically, a ghost will run through the room. <laughs> Don't touch the red circle. A quick note. His abilities have different animations due to him being twice the man he was. His Hadouken now looks like this. Projectile Nova like this. And his shield ability signaling that you need to reflect him looks like this. Once you've mastered avoiding red circles, running debuffs out to the wall, punching your allies when they crystallize and making this man hit himself, you too can conquer this father who has gone off the rails with his thermostat privileges. Now you know how to clear Raid Wing 2. You're welcome. Click these links, especially that one. I have a second channel.